If all you care about is land mass and square kilometers or miles, Cyberpunk 2077's urban dystopia might feel like a step back to you until you look what's actually in it. In example, Third Witcher is a flat game. Most of the action is happening on the ground level and it has no dungeons. Like really, if you think about it, except few tiny caves and special main quest missions you can't go back to, everything in Witcher 3 had happened in a flat environment. But Cyberpunk 2077 is is multi-leveled game, so even if the actual map on ground level is smaller than all the Witcher's lands combined, it also has more spaces stacked on top of each other vertically, because, you know, most of the buildings in the city are very tall and you can go inside most of them. So if you combine all that space, you'll get incredibly huge map. And about the actual size of the city, look at the leaked metro map. If you live or have ever been in the city with metro trains, you can easily imagine the preliminary size of the night city. Trains move pretty fast, so the distance between stops may be between 500 meters to 1.5 or even 2 kilometers in average. An example, in Moscow it's 1.5 kilos in average between stops and in Paris is only 600 meters. So let's take the average 1.2 kilometer number between stops as a measuring unit. This distance in real life is occurring in London, Mexico City and Tokyo. So if you measure this map like that, you'll get about 90 square kilometers. It is very speculative, it may drastically differ from this calculation of mine even in your own calculations, but keep in mind that the map of Witcher 3 is about 130 square kilometers in size, so it confirms the words of the developer that the ground level map of Night City is slightly smaller than the Witcher's. That's it, thank you for watching, subscribe for more Cyberpunk 2077 videos, because there will be plenty of those in the future. I have made about 250 videos about Skyrim in the past, and I will make even more about Cyberpunk. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.